Hey, it's Mervi. I just bought this new sketchbook and I wanted to show it to you and start it with you. It's a Montmartre sketching journal, A5 portrait, and it has 100 uh, acid-free pages and 150 grams per square meter. It has this textured cover, like an embossed animal pattern and the logo debossed on the back and it's pretty big logo actually. I would like to decorate the cover with uh, some kind of a drawing but the embossed pattern is causing me a little bit of grief there. If you have any ideas how I could decorate the cover maybe without stickers let me know in the comments. The pages are nice and considerably thick and each spread opens pretty flat so it should be easy to draw and paint in this sketchbook. I figured I should draw or paint something something that's fun to me um, for, for the first spread on this sketchbook. I've been getting back to watercolors lately so I decided to make a watercolor painting as the first first thing in this sketchbook. I actually bought new watercolors at the same time I bought this sketchbook. These are Finnish watercolors, pretty familiar to anyone who has went to school here in Finland, I think. It's a nice basic set of watercolors, solid watercolors, and actually each color button uh, has the name of the color. I also have this older set which for some reason doesn't include black. It has an extra brown in it and that's part of the reason why I got this new set because it has black on it. So for the first spread at first I decided to include my contact information. You know, just in case I lose the sketchbook. I also added the date on it. And then I wanted to draw something nature related. I think watercolors are great for nature subjects. Often nature kind of looks like it's been painted with watercolors, I think. And as mentioned, I wanted to draw something fun. And I love drawing foxes. I love foxes in general. So I decided to start this sketchbook with a fox. I have to speed this process up because it took me, I don't know, over an hour to, to paint this, um, maybe two hours. And even though I try to make a bit slower, cozier videos, um, that is a bit long. So before painting I decided to sketch the fox and other elements with a pencil, very basic clean sketching. I started the painting process with painting the green area, which I decided it will be mostly the green area and just these few elements on it. Besides animals like foxes and bears and bunnies and cats, of course, I like to draw and paint mushrooms. So I included mushrooms in this, this little spread here. I didn't want to make the trees too detailed, just basically silhouettes, but I added a little bit of, of kind of, it's not really detailing on them. Just to make them look a bit more, you know, like trees actually. I need to practice a lot more with watercolors because it's been a while since I have been painting anything with them. But of course this sketchbook is part of that, that process too. A sketchbook can be a little taunting in my opinion because it's a bit different than if, if you were drawing or painting on a, just a piece of paper. A piece of paper you can discard if it doesn't work out, but with a sketchbook it's, it's there, you cannot just throw the whole sketchbook away if you, well, you can, but it's ridiculous. Uh, if, if you mess up one of the drawings or paintings, so it's, it's there kind of forever. But that's part of the reason why I wanted this sort of hardcover sketchbook for drawing and painting, because then I have to sort of let go of the need for perfection. I cannot just discard the pages 
if they don't work out I have to keep the even the little bit messed up paintings and drawings in there on the other hand sketchbook can also reveal how my art and illustrations evolve in time in a bit different way than just paper or if I draw my artwork in, in like procreate or something I ended up basing this fox in a photo of a fox so um, the funny stance this fox has it's based on real real fox standing like that someone somewhere once said that foxes have um, cat software in a dog hardware and I think that that's really fitting description of them so it looks like the first spread in my new sketchbook is starting to be filled with this little painting but I have a little request for you besides giving ideas for what I should do with the cover because it's a bit uh, troublesome um, I would also hear some suggestions on what I could draw and paint in this sketchbook not everything has to be a watercolor painting they can be sketches they can be um, card pencil artwork there could be I don't know line art so please drop into the comments and let me know what do you think and of course please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you around <laughs>